Council tax bills could skyrocket if Labour accepts the local government association's demands. Council leaders have asked the government to enable them to impose unlimited tax hikes on residents ahead of next month's budget, according to reports. The local government association, LGA, will urge Rachel Reeves, the chancellor, to scrap the existing 5% annual cap on tax rises. The Telegraph reports that senior government sources claim they have no plans to undertake a reassessment of council tax bans, but claim that any other alterations will be decided in the spending review. Current rules stipulate that council tax is only allowed to go up by a maximum of 5% per year unless approval is given by residents in a local referendum. Councillor Pete Marland, chair of the LGA's Economy and Resources Board, told the outlet, it should be for councils and their residents to decide how local services are paid for, not Whitehall. No other tax increase is subject to the extra cost of a referendum, as all other taxes are rightly seen to be within the mandate of the elected government. The same should apply for council tax. The ballot box on local election day allows for people to pass judgment on their councils. He added that councils are facing up to a £6 billion funding black hole over the next 24 months, just to keep services as they are with no further cuts, blaming the gaps on over a decade of reducing services, Councillor Marlon said. We need a significant change in our funding to stabilise local government finance so we can deliver the services local people want to see. The LGA is also demanding the Chancellor grants councils the power to reduce every single council tax discount, including the single-person discount. The single-person discount has been in place since 1993, and reflects the likelihood that individuals living alone are less of a drain on local services.